again to Can't Spell English. This is your host, Menchie Pasqual. In the previous episode, we talked about the various ways of preparing our students for composition writing. We said that brainstorming activities would be very important tools to gather as much input as possible. Brainstorming can be done individually through clustering, mapping, cubing, and looping. It can likewise be done interpersonally, that is, students share whatever information they have on a certain topic with their peers in or outside of the classroom. Before we take up the other stages of the process approach, let me show you once again the flowchart, where you will see the different stages a student writer has to go through before he or she produces his or her own composition. Notice the stages in the flowchart. There are seven altogether. There could be more depending on the felt need. A class may be asked to write three, four, five drafts before they can write the final draft. If you look more closely at the diagram, you will notice that the focus is on content and not on grammaticality and mechanics. This way, we are able to encourage our students to write or at least to develop in them the fondness for writing. Observe the stages of the process when grammar errors are checked. It comes as late as stage six. We will know more about the process approach to writing when we return. Please stand by 